Hey guys and welcome to my latest video which is the best way to create a Google Shopping feed with Shopify. Firstly, we're going to create a Google Merchant Center account. Secondly, we're going to use the automated feeds to build your product data. Then we're going to link your Merchant Center and your Google Ads account. And finally, we're going to build a shopping campaign in your Google Ads account. So there are various ways to create a shopping feed with Shopify, such as creating the spreadsheet with the product feed data in, uh, using the Shopify app, but my preferred method, which I find to be the quickest and easiest, and therefore the best way to create the Google Shopping feed, is using the automated feed feature, also known as the website crawl. So let's begin with the first step, creating or connecting a Google Merchant Center account. Right, so step one is to create a Google Merchant Center account. So what is Google Merchant Center? Well, this is a tool which helps you to upload your product listings to use with Google Shopping. In order to use Google Shopping, you must have a Google Merchant Center account. If you do not already have a Google Merchant Center account, visit google.com forward slash merchants and click get started, which we'll go through now. So I click get started here. It takes me through to this page to setting up your Google Merchant Center account. On the next screen, you will use your Google account to sign in, like so. Okay, welcome to the Merchant Center. Here we need to enter our business information. Enter the country that you're operating in, and your business display name, and the time zone in which you're in. Agree to the Merchant Center Terms and Conditions. Okay, now choose the program that fits your objectives. So for this, we'll have a look at the shopping ads. And press continue. And then create account. And it's that easy. Within 30 seconds or less, you can create your Google Merchant Center account. And that is the first step towards creating your Google Shopping campaigns using Shopify. Okay, the next step is using the automated feeds to build your product data. As mentioned before, this is the quickest and the easiest way to create a Google Shopping feed. You don't need to download any Shopify apps, you don't need to create any product feeds uh, using Excel or Google Sheets. We're going to use the website qual feature inside Google Merchant Center to automatically pull the product information from your website. Okay, once you've created the Google Merchant Center account, the next task is to set up your shopping ads. There are two ways you can do this. If you have the prompt on the front page for pending tasks saying set up shopping ads, you can press continue. Alternatively, you will find it in the product section on the left hand menu. We can choose to add individual products or we can choose multiple products. We're going to choose multiple products as I assume many shops have multiple products for sale. Okay, now we need to enter the basic information such as the country of sale, the language and the destinations which is shopping ads. Next you can choose how to set up your feed and connect your data to the Merchant Centre. Now Google Sheets is an option that I've seen quite a few people using but this is very time consuming because you have to create a spreadsheet with all your products on. So if you've got thousands and thousands of products or hundreds of products it's going to take you some time to create that. That's why I prefer to use the website crawl option where Google will crawl your website and to upload your product data using the structured data annotations and advanced data extractions. Now if you've got a Shopify website, your website product information is already built into the website so this is quite an easy way to do it with the Shopify website. So select website crawl and press continue. And what's next? In the next 12 hours Google will start crawling your website to upload your product data. Once the data has been uploaded you can review it in the products list page and select create feed. Here we go, that's your product feed created. Okay, just a few more things to look at before we're done. Before the items can go live, you will need to enter the shipping and returns information. Sometimes this may be included in your product feed, however if not, 
Your items will be disapproved and cannot go live until this is fixed. Here's an example of one that I did earlier, which has UK first class postage. The service area being the United Kingdom, and the currency being the Great British Pound. You need to have an order cutoff time stated, a handling time stated, and a transit time. Once you've entered this information, select save. And your item should be approved. One more step involves linking your AdWords account with your Google Merchant Centre account. This option can be found in the settings and linked account menu. To link a Google AdWords account, select link accounts in the second box on the screen. Next, you will need to enter your Google Ads customer ID for the Google AdWords account that you want to create a shopping campaign for. To find your Google Ads customer ID, go to your AdWords account and on the top left hand side, next to the account name, you will see the ID. Copy this and paste it into the Google Ads customer ID in the Google Merchant Center and hit send link request. Next, the, the account link needs to be confirmed in Google Ads. If you go back to your Google Ads account, sometimes there's a notification on the top right hand side which will say one Merchant Center account link request pending. If you press view, you will be able to accept the invite from there. However, if you don't have a notification, there is another way to do this. Go to Tools and Settings, Linked Accounts, scroll down to Google Merchant Center, select Details. Here you'll see there's a pending invite, select View Details and Approve. That's it, you've now linked your Google Merchant Center with your Google AdWords account. Now that you've created a Google Merchant Center account and created a Google Shopping product feed, next you'll need to build your shopping campaign in your Google Ads account. To do this, select New Campaign. Sales. Select Shopping Campaign Type. If you see that there's no linked account here, just refresh your page and your Google Merchant Center account should appear. Select Standard Shopping Campaign and continue. Enter a campaign name. Select your bidding strategy. I'll go for manual CPC for now, with enhanced CPC selected. Give the campaign a budget, which I'll choose at £10. And select, and next select a campaign priority. If you have multiple campaigns with one product, use campaign priority to decide which campaign's bid will be used. For example, if you have shopping campaign one and shopping campaign two, these both contain a pair of red night trainers. The campaign with the highest priority will be used for advertising that product. Next, review your targeting settings. I generally unselect Google search partners and YouTube from my Google shopping campaigns. The reason for this being that I want to advertise only on the Google search results page and not YouTube and not the search partners. Generally I find the best results come from advertising on the Google search results page. Hence I want to focus my budget here. Select your location of select your location that you'd like to target. Select an end date if required, if not, leave as none for an ongoing campaign. Now that we've created our campaign, we need to create our ad group. I will call this one all products and I will set my bid for the products at 50p. In the product group column, you will be able to see how many products have been submitted, how many have been approved, how many are active and how many are ready to serve. If all is working correctly, there should be 100% of products ready to serve. 
If there are any errors, go back to the Diagnostic tab in your Google Merchant Center account and follow the instructions there to fix your product feed. Now this is obviously a very basic Google Shopping campaign, targeting all products. However, there are more advanced Google Shopping strategies, which we will go through in another video. Thank you.